we are going to sail to Millport for our first trip um, and explore the islands a little bit. Um, see what's changed since we've last been there. So, yeah! Here we go, we haven't even finished the existing project, we've barely gotten on to our first sale drop it off. and drop it off. Chris is already planning to chop off the table drop and exchange, off. yeah exactly. So we have arrived in Millport. Um, it's almost 10 o'clock at night. We are just preparing to anchor. The water is incredibly, incredibly flat. <laughs> There's literally not a peep of wind. It's absolutely beautiful. So we have our anchor set up, windlass ready, just trying to find a nice spot. There we go. Successfully anchored in Millport. Woohoo! Ow. Yeah. Are you guys excited for a little break and a little walkie on an island? Are you excited, Hachi, to go for a walkie walkie? Look, he's so happy. Hachi? He knows what happens next. <laughs> Hachi? Are you excited? Hey, big boy. <laughs> he's like so dark. <laughs> Have fun! What a sunny morning. Out everyone! It's adventure time. Where are we going? Uh, to the beach over there. The little island somewhere over there, I think. Okay, in the dinghy, guys. Mm. 
Okay. It's Mimi. Mimi, I think you're meant to be getting in, darling. Go get the dinghy. Just maybe heading A part of us will never lead Oh, wherever in the world you may be hiding In a while I know you're coming home mm, Tonight I know you will be coming home Ooh, oh. in Milford Bay and when the tide's in this is a lovely little beach and when the tide's out it's still a nice beach but there's a lot of seaweed seaweed you can press the towel there we go but uh it's because it's just us and the dogs and they have full freedom of a little island Luna certainly loves it this is um away with the dogs, getting them uh, swimming and chasing ball. Me and Jasper are going to go for a little explore around the islands and see what we can find. Oh look, a wee shell. Which got broke. Right. Yeah, it's broken. So we can find some animals and maybe you'll, you know, in these little pools. What do you think? These little pool. Oh yeah, they might have creatures in them. We go underwater and see what's in them. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what is it? A porcupine. It's not a porcupine. <laughs> what do you think it is? Uh, Come on, here. What are they called? Sea urchin. Thing. Should we get some breakfast now? Breakfast? I think so. Wow, this looks delicious. <laughs> what are you making? Wraps. Wraps. We're shopping, so we're kind of a. Mm -hmm. mm, this looks delicious. All done on our induction cooktop and microwave. Oh, got another towel if I want to show you that. We are pre-cooking with the inverters. And there's our blue power panel. Now it doesn't seem to be drawing anything at the moment, but that's um, one of the inverters in there. Another inverter is in here. So between this and that, we've got six kVA, um, which is enough to power an induction cooktop, microwave, kettle. It's also enough to 
power the, the big draw on the water heater when we've got that running. So if all those big AC appliances are running, we're drawing about 400 amps or something like that from the from the batteries. These batteries are Victron AGM, and they live in a big bank down there. So we're installed new uh, when we bought the boat because they were dead. But actually, so that was sitting at. Um, 80% or so before you started cooking, wasn't it? 80 exactly, because I checked, yeah. yeah. Okay, so 2% of the battery for a delicious <laughs> wrap meal. Well done, sausage. You're most welcome. Here. Good job. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Food in such magnificent surroundings. We've had some lunch, we've had some guests, we've had some soaks, we've had some time relaxing in the sunshine. So we are now gonna go explore Milkport and, and have, fun. have fun and grab some ice cream because it's really, 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 really hot. Yeah. It's like it's Milkport. Off for a walk it's just with the doggies. It's, a bit like it's actually pretty busy. The beach is packed. Plenty of yachts around. The anchorage is pretty full. And I think most of the visitor boys are taking us a lot now. It's really nice. It's so sunny. It's actually short weather, which is strange for Scotland. It's really nice to see everyone out and about again after the last year and a half. It's so packed. Yeah. It's lovely. Like the, like the boat Remember when we were here last time we couldn't come ashore? Yeah. It's nice to see things going back to normal after everything. There's a wee map of um, Millport and we are here near Crocodile are, Rock. Yeah. Where do you think uh, Ragdoll's anchored? Uh, I don't know. Well, come on, have a look around. So we went to this island, oh, went to this island this morning. That's so the beach in there that we go to, isn't it? So where are we anchored? We're probably anchored somewhere around here, aren't we? Eat. Yeah. So where should we go? What should we explore? I think so. We might do one of these walks today and uh, maybe the Target's walk. That'd be nice. So this is um, Great Cymru's, Millport's famous um, crocodile rock. It's uh, basically drunken inspired uh, painting by a local pub man. Pub story! Yep. <laughs> Robert Brown, on his way back from the pub, thought, oh look at that rock, it looks like a crocodile. So he came back with some paint, um, painted a crocodile look-alike type of thing on there and... Still there a hundred years later? It's still a hundred years, yeah. So through lockdown, um, people started painting and putting rocks um, around this wee area. There's lots of cool wee um, painted ones. It's the Cymru Community Caterpillar and people have been adding decorated stones to see um, how long they can make them and they've actually made them really, really long. There's some pause. Can you read some of the messages, Jeffrey? We love Millport from Sandra and Trish. There's Carla. 
we Elvis lives. <laughs> There's um seashell. There's a couple of seashell looking ones. Now that's cool. Whoever done this. <laughs> yeah, there's a wee sheep. A wee doggy. That's really cool. We got some uh, delicious ice cream. Right? In the one and only Ritz Cafe. Every time they have the best ice cream on the island. So we're back from our little venture. Doggies are resting. We're going to have a little snack. I think it's safe to say that Luna's tired when a, a Chris dropped in front of her, she didn't even notice. Since it was a calm and windless day, I finally got to try out my new silks. Said you needed a break and left with no heads out I was strong for your sake but it made my heart drown Cause it's always been you and I Give me one more try, this is messing with my mind Not gonna lie, but I'll give you the space so you can figure this out I've been losing sleep and it won't get better I can't get my mind off of you Days go by and I can't help but wonder If you think about me too Don't you just hate it Being away from someone you just wanna hold on to It's driving me crazy Tired of waiting I really hate being away from you Like everyone else, we have our ups and downs. It is not just one mistake that made you think about what life can be like without me in it. I still thought it'd be you and I until we die. But I'll give you the space so you can figure this out. I've been losing sleep and it won't get better I can't get my mind off of you Days go by and I can't help but wonder If you think about me too Don't you just hate it Being away from someone you just wanna hold on to It's driving me crazy Tired of waiting I really hate being away from you don't you just hate it being away from someone you just wanna hold on to? It's driving me crazy, tired of waiting. I really hate being away from you. It's safe to say that our first trip was a success. We spent the evening watching the sunset and the beautiful Millport scenery.
If you don't want to miss the next episode of Sailing Ragdoll, hit the subscribe button and the little bell below. And thanks for watching. Till next time.